let's get into it. Coach Colin News here. We got something special today. Morning Joe, Joe Scarborough, having having kind of a meltdown, suggesting very odd things, starting to sound like a conspiracy theorist. I don't know. Maybe the MK Ultra is wearing off or something like that. Because what he gets into, and this is happening because Trump is leading in the polls so aggressively, right? And he just starts coming up with this whole thing of why that's happening. Can't possibly be because people just want to vote that way. Can't possibly be because people are tired of the way things are, you know, since 2020 up till now. Maybe they're just tired of it. Can't be any of that. Has to be something completely different. Listen to what this guy has to say. Let's get into it. Where are the polls talking us directionally about the race? I understand it's, there's a difference, though, with the New York Times I, Siena poll, and you know this. I, I am. It's given disproportionate impact. I it, uh, this year, this cycle, it is skewed wildly and yes. in Donald Trump's and, direction. Hold on. Yeah. And the New York Times feasts on it with clickbait stories. Like a dozen at a time. And and I and, and what I'm trying to focus on is what I think people should pay attention to. But what I'm trying to focus on is right. the New York Times right now is actively shaping the election cycles where this poll comes out on a Sunday yeah. and on Monday people go, oh, and I heard it. And I'm sitting there going, oh, don't be so stupid. That's why we're hey. doing this. So we're not, no, no, so hold on a second. Hold on, no, 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 hold on. What I hear is after these Siena polls come out, every time New York yep. Times polls says, oh, well, everything that Joe Biden's done since the since the, the uh, uh, State of the Union address, right. all of these, all this money that he's put out, all of the campaigning is for not. No, it's not. No, it's not. There's one poll that's wildly skewed Every time okay. after every New York Times Siena poll comes out, it completely changes the political battlefield out there for about a week, week and a half. It distorts the questions that are asked at the, of the White House. It distorts the questions that are asked of Donald Trump. It distorts all of the opinion. It distorts everything. And that keeps happening every month when this comes out. And then finally, about two weeks later, after the residue of the New York Times Siena poll leaves, people go, oh, I think Joe Biden's on a winning streak. And then two weeks later, it comes out again and it's garbage. <laughs> Speaking of so, drugs that people are taking, I would like to take that. So, I, I actually love that. Oh, imagine living in that fantasy world. Imagine, okay, the allegation here yeah. is that the New York Times is actively cooking the books mm -hmm. in favor right. of Donald Trump and putting out what Joe Scarborough describes as clickbait articles to shape <laughs> the cut. Like, imagine thinking the New York Times is in the tank for Donald Trump. Like, it's completely insane. And then, just factually, he's asserting, oh, we know that this is garbage. We know it's wildly no, skewed. Yeah. No. Last time in 2020, it was skewed in the other direction. It wildly overstated mm -hmm. Joe Biden's support versus Donald Trump. Now, maybe things have changed. We don't know. Other polls have gone another way. Possible. But to just dismiss this, like, oh, don't be ridiculous. And here's the other thing, Sagar, is he's pretending like these are outliers. That's the problem. Yes. This, is not, this is not an outlier. Now, some of the national polling has been okay for Joe Biden. Some have even had him up by a few points. Some have had it tied. Some have had him down by, you know, a little bit, but within the margin of error. But every single battleground poll that I've seen recently, maybe there's some out there that I haven't seen, but the battleground polls have consistently been bad for Joe Biden. And um, to just like dismiss that is incredible. But that's, I mean, the White House is apparently in this delusional yes state as well, where they don't believe the polls. They're in like hashtag unskew the polls mode. They don't think these accurately reflect his support. And so even though, you know, it, everyone looking at this objectively would be like, you're not in a good position right now. They're just staying the course. They think it's all well and good. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Joe Scarborough, just mad, just angry. He's like, yeah, this is, hold on, hold on. Cause no, it's, it's Sunday. If Sunday happens, and then people are saying things on Monday, and I'm like, what are, what are you guys talking about? The New, it's the New York Times. You understand? The New York Times, they're working for Trump, because you guys don't understand. Trump was born in New York, and it's New York Times. You guys don't get it. They're just lying, okay? So he's having a little meltdown there. He's like, Whoa. but if the, New York, if the New York Times is lying, maybe, are we lying? Hold on a second. You all said it was... I, I thought every journalist met with the FBI every morning. What, oh, hold on a second. 
I heard other journalists are writing their own articles. You guys said no journalists write their own articles. Hold on, because if the New York Times is saying that Trump, and they lie, and we lie, hold on a second. And the MK Ultra starts wearing off on him. He's like, hold on. Oh, oh. Looks at his co-host. Oh my God, it's you. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, my real name is Mark. Please, please, you all have to stop watching right now. St There's a shadow government that is taking over. Beep. <laughs> Get the color bars. He comes back, just drool coming out of his mouth. Sorry. Uh, sorry about my outburst. I just uh, had some tainted lettuce. You got to watch out for that. Anyway, Donald Trump is a threat to democracy. Don't vote for him or you're a Nazi. Joe Biden is the greatest president the United States of America has ever seen. <sighs> just falls on the ground. <laughs> Co-host is just like, anyways, guys, like he said, don't be a Nazi. Vote for Biden absolutely amazing now he's got it's 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 so good when people in the mainstream start sounding like conspiracy theorists all of a sudden is that possible i thought things like that were impossible but now all of a sudden because it's not fitting his narrative their narrative all of a sudden he's like the new york times well you know what they do i mean they're controlled you know they're controlled you know they're controlled opposition right He was like one step away from saying <laughs> you know they're controlled opposition right I mean, are you kidding me right now? These far-right extremists, they pay them, you know? It's George Soros probably funding this. You know what I mean? The gain of function, you know? I mean, you know, they, they, they don't a lot of things. Starting to sound like a conspiracy theorist. How about that? How about that? Morning Joe. Joe Scarborough. <laughs> Having a meltdown. I love to see it. I love to see it. Trump is ahead big time in the polls i'm seeing like i saw a poll that he had him had like 12 points i'm pretty sure you know um we're gonna continue to see this like obviously we're gonna continue to see this he's ahead people are starting to wake up that's all it is people are just like oh okay i'm i'm done with the way that things have been working i don't want this anymore there's many people that feel that way many many people are feeling that way is this the poll i was seeing I don't even know if I can pull that up for you guys. Yeah, you know, you have some polls. Trump by uh, by by 5% here. Trump up by 6 Or sorry, I shouldn't say percent. Points. Right? Um, there it's saying Democrats support Joe Biden. GOP supports Trump. Uh, Trump is ahead in Indy. And then they're saying 6%. Do not know unsure. That's obviously Robert f kennedy jr you know i think it's a little disingenuous to be like ah and then there's some other you know at least talk about him i think trump would still be ahead even if they did bring up robert f kennedy jr but they don't they never do so i find that very interesting but you know whatever trump almost uh, also maintains his lead in the three-way race oh they did bring it up cool all right let me uh, let me try and zoom in on this but people are waking up man how long do you think people are just going to sit back and just allow what's happening to happen? They're Eventually, they're going to step in. It's showing Donald Trump. Yeah, he's still up. Up by four points in total. Over Biden, and Biden is over RFK, and I don't really know how true that is. I mean, you know, I, I, you know it, it's, pro it's probably true. It's probably true, because a lot of people don't know about RFK Jr. They don't know what he stands for. He took the route of really getting in front of podcasts. A lot of mainstream outlets aren't going to allow him to speak. They're not going to cover him. I mean, for the first while that he was running, they completely ignored that he existed. He's only starting to exist now, right? So, yeah, it, which is pretty sad. But again, you know, I always talk about my biases. I want to see Trump as president. But it, it uh, I do feel that, you know, RFK, there is some genuine points to him. I don't think he's this radical. I think what he really is, is he's a Democrat, and if he got in office, he would work with Democrats who are controlled, you know, the ones that are radical leftists. He would work with them because he would be like, yeah, let's all get together. Come on. like That's what this is about, and that's a great attitude to have, but he would have it for the wrong people, whereas Trump... Trump seems to be despised by 
any cabal that actually exists. Whatever, whatever it is, call it whatever you want. Shadow, cabal, whatever it is, they hate Trump. They just hate him. They, they just see him as illegitimate. He's not supposed to be there. They, they hate him. So I, I find that to be a good sign <laughs> in a candidate, you know? Um, but yeah, that's, that's how I feel with RFK. He, uh, I don't think he's going to make it. I don't think Trump's going to choose him as a VP. You know, they were also talking about a VP debate between, uh, you know, Biden's VP, Trump's VP, but he hasn't announced it yet. So the Trump campaign actually can't accept it. So since that is coming about, since they're asking about that, I think Trump might have to announce who his VP is very soon. And I'd be surprised if he didn't actually already know who he wanted. So I think we're going to see that in the next little while. <laughs> I got to say, I'm really Vivek, I think would be great. I don't know how much he'll do because, you know, how much power do you really have? I think he'll be a great speaker. I think he'll be fantastic. I think he'll be a fantastic speaker. I think he'll be able to answer questions. I think he'll be able to go around the world and talk to different world leaders. I think he'll be able to do all of that stuff. I don't know how much of what he had planned as president would actually get executed, like that whole 75 percent of bureaucrats being done away with. I don't I don't know if that would actually fly by Trump. Maybe. Who knows? But honestly, I just want to see Tucker. It's dumb. It's it's silly. I know it's silly. It's silly. But him and T Trump and Tucker would just be so fun. It would just be so fun. And I think Tucker has been around politics for a while. I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, he's ready to be vice president. But he has this genuineness to him and this approval by a lot of people that I think he would be good in that position. And plus, it would just be absolutely great to see. It would just be great to see how many people would just lose their minds <laughs> over <laughs> Trump, Tucker, Trump Carlson 2024. People just go wild. But I can't tell who it is. I've seen lists of people that didn't even involve Vivek or Tucker and... It was a bunch of other people. I thought I saw. I think Marco Rubio, and he he's all right, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want to see him make a mistake, you know. You know. But everybody makes mistakes. Who who knows who he's actually gonna pick? Joe Scarborough, ladies and gentlemen, slowly cracking. Can you imagine he has this Tucker Carlson moment? <laughs> he's just like, you know, the FBI has been contacting me for months. It's ridiculous. My whole my whole career. I always got to go down to their offices. They're always telling me what to say. I'm done with it. Can you imagine? Oh, my gosh. I'd be so happy. <laughs> we need we need someone who has that and is saying, I got talking points from these. We need somebody to do that. It would be so good. We, are, we all already know it. Tucker has exposed a little bit of it. But we need somebody to be like, here it is. Here it is. Actually happened. Oh, man. That would be the best to see, especially someone from MSNBC. Who you notice Crystal Ball, I believe she came from MSNBC. See, that's the thing. They'll leave, but they, Megan Kelly, um, she was also mainstream media. They always leave, but they never talk about what they saw when they were behind that curtain. They never talk about it. And I wish they would more. But uh Joe Scarborough, Joe Scarborough, ladies and gentlemen, getting real upset. <laughs> I can't wait to see more of that. What's he, what is he gonna do when Trump wins? It's just gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. What's gonna happen? He's just gonna he's gonna be like shirtless. He's gonna have no shirt on, just screaming like Alex Jones. Just, ah! He's gonna be nuts. He'll rush the Capitol on his own if Trump gets president. <laughs> just shirtless, shirtless, no glasses on. Ah! America's a lie. Ah! Just gets tased. <laughs> Wakes up. <sighs> my name's really Mark. Oh my God. I'm controlled. I've been controlled. There's a brain chip inside of me. Anyways, guys. <laughs> jokes. These are dumb jokes. They're dumb jokes. I don't think that about Joe Scarborough. I'm sure he's a nice guy in person. Maybe. 
possibly. Anyway, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps the channel tremendously. You have no idea. And other than that, I'm out.